Hello to all of our Trash Mountain child sponsors. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving Day weekend and we are finally getting you uh, the update that we had promised about some of the changes that we're going to be making to our child sponsorship program. Uh, I apologize for the tardiness. Uh, as many of you know, we uh, ended up just days after we held the meeting here in Topeka um, about child sponsorship. We made a decision to take an urgent trip over to the Philippines to help with some of the relief efforts over there. So we uh, really appreciate your um, uh, understanding and that this took us a little bit longer to get out to you than we had hoped. Um, but uh, this is uh, what we're giving to you right now is we wanted to just tell you just in brief a little bit about some of the changes that we're going to be making. Um, please understand um, before getting into the uh, changes that we're going to be talking about to know that um, there's nothing actually changing with the care for your children or in the cost uh, to you per month. So please understand that uh, there's not any changes like that that are going to be happening. Um, they, this is more to do with our, uh, I would say, philosophy or theology on uh, child sponsorship and what we found when we started evaluating this program. Um, and also know uh, the impact that you've had uh, just in these few short years uh, in doing child sponsorship has been huge. I mean, we've served over 400,000 meals uh, through this program, provided health care uh, to the kids, um, given them an education, uh, spiritual guidance, new teachers, just, I mean, the list goes on and on. So we just want you to know how much of an impact this has had. And we actually had a quote from a, a teacher I wanted to read you. This was just a few months after we had started the program. Um, we had a teacher named Pedro Lopez. He's been a longtime teacher down at Kids with a Hope in the Dominican Republic. And uh, this was something that he said to me right after, uh, just a few months after starting this program. He said, in just three short months, everything has changed. Our kids are learning at a, at a much higher rate. They are paying attention in class. Their grades are going. Uh, their grades are going up. They physically look different. They look healthier. They have the energy to participate in activities that they couldn't before. This is a miracle, and the children as well as our staff know that this is a blessing from God. I think that says it right there. I mean, how we feel about this program and how our partners feel about this program. But as you know, um, most of you realize this was actually our very first uh, sponsorship program for our ministry. And just like with any first, uh, we've been learning as we go at some level. And so um, as we've been evaluating uh, how we do this, one of the first things we want to do is ask our international partners, you know, how do you feel about sponsorship? And one of the first things that came back to us was that the word sponsorship itself actually has kind of a negative connotation to some people. Um, they've heard about sponsorship, and the only reason they would have even heard that word was because of other organizations that had done um, similar type programs uh, throughout a community. And the community that uh, the Trash Dump is in is a very, very large uh, community called Cienfuegos in uh, Santiago. And so there's been other organizations in different parts of that uh, community um, that are, you know, miles from where Kids with a Hope is and isn't really specifically these children, but word gets around. And they had, you know, heard that there were these big organizations that were, you know, basically making money on them and, and doing things in a way that um, we obviously don't want to do uh, with Trash Mountain. And, you know, they had made promises that all the kids were receiving this much food and health care and all these things, and they just weren't receiving it. So it just kind of got a shadow over it. And so as we asked them about that, um, you know, that was news to us. We didn't realize that there was kind of a negative uh, feel to that. But the good thing with ours is, you know, in terms of financial accountability and what we have promised we will deliver to these kids and to this ministry, we have always followed through with. And I want you to know that. I want you to know that um, our partners there are 100% satisfied with how um, we have run the actual program of sponsorship. Um, again, it comes back more to our philosophy on it. And so um, everything along those lines are great, and it's actually gained a much better view of what sponsorship is within that small area that we're operating in next to the trash dump. Um, and so that's good. That's, that's a major positive. But the other thing that we found was that there was kind of a a negative in terms of the individuality of this program um, or any sponsorship program where you have your your child. Um, and so if you know what I mean, a lot of times we hear people say it's my adopted child. And that's just our own wording on how we say it. We understand we haven't adopted that child into our home. Um, but in some way you have, you're sponsoring them, you're hel helping care for them. But 
um, with that individuality to what we found is that a lot of times the families, the kids that we um, are serving, at least in Santiago, most of them are not a true orphan situation where they are being staying at our program. We don't house children. They actually go home to some kind of caretaker or parent. And so, um, you know, for them, we don't ever want their parent to feel um, somehow uh, like we're taking some dignity away from them. Like there's this other parent uh, that's in the United States uh, for their kid and it almost makes them feel even you know, more like they can't care for the needs of their own kids. Uh, and so we, we always want to edify the family. We don't want to do anything that would, even on an unint unintentional level, because obviously that's, that would be what this is from you, from us, um, that we aren't intending to do that. But if they even have halfway a feeling that that is what's happening. We don't want that to happen, so we want to edify the family. That's that's one of the major reasons we're going to make the changes that we are. Um, and then also an additional correspondence. If some kids are getting emails and some aren't, uh, most of our kids aren't, and that's fine. Um, but also maybe someone goes down on a trip and gets to meet their their sponsored child. It also it kind of makes some of the other kids feel like maybe they're less special, you know, or, well, where's mine? I mean, I know I have a sponsor, but um, why don't I get to meet them? And they just don't understand, you know, that 99% you know, of people are not going to go on a trip with us and get to meet their kid. Um, and, you know, so we just, we don't want to alienate them. We don't want anyone to feel any different than other kids within the program. And so we just want to be very fair across the board, just as we are with nutrition and education and everything else we do within this program, um, that kids aren't feeling like, you know, they're being singled out. And so, um, so what we've done uh, with our changes, um, we're going to be um, explaining the two main things that actually will be changing for you. But first, I want to just read you a couple of verses. This is just something that really hit me. And um, all of us here and everyone that's sponsoring, we want to love those in need with Christ's love. I mean, that's really what we're here for. That's what we're trying to do as a ministry. And 1 Peter 4, 9 uh, says, Cheerfully share your home with those who are in need, um, who need a meal or a place to stay. And Jesus said, and this is a very famous statement he made, he said, You are a light of the world, a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp and then puts it under a basket. Instead, a lamp is placed on a stand where it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all to see so that everyone will praise uh, your heavenly Father. We want to be 100% positive that everything in our model of missions, uh, for anything Trash Mountain related, but um, specifically with sponsorship too, is that it's focused on the entire family and it's focused on the entire community. And so that's actually where we've come up with a new name for our sponsorship program and we're going to be calling it Community Sponsorship. And so the only thing that is the major change is that you will not have your own individual child. In other words, you're not going to have um, you know one specific child that's assigned to you only. You're going to be or you're going to be providing for the care of one child um, through your thirty-five dollars a month, um, or if you have multiple children, um, you'll still be doing the same thing. They'll be getting the exact same care, but you will not have a specific child assigned to you. And so with that, what's going to happen is you're actually going to get more updates from us. You're going to get updates from classrooms. You're going to get updates from teachers. Um, you're going to still be able to email. If you want to email um, uh, the children down there, you're not going to be emailing an individual. You're going to be emailing a class. And so they're actually going to read what you're saying to this class. And so if you, they need your words of encouragement. They need your prayer. Um, and with that, a lot of people have voiced, you know, that they, they love being able to pray over their individual child. Um, please continue to pray for your kids. You know, you're in a unique position of we're changing the game kind of midstream with this um, where anyone new will just be community sponsors. You know, so with yours, continue to pray for your child. They're, they're still around. They need your prayer. Um, but then also in the future, you're going to be getting prayer cards. You're going to be getting things that you can, you can look at and say, I'm praying for all of these kids. I mean, I think we all know that, that God can, uh, he can look at the big picture much better than we can. And so if we pray for um, all of the kids down in the program, um, it's going to be just as valuable to them. And so, um, so we know that that is something um, that's going to be a little bit different. And for those of you who have emailed your children, we're actually going to be talking with Pastor Pablo. Um, he's going to discuss this with them and explain it. And, and it won't be any big deal on their end um, that, um, that they're not going to be getting an individual email from you anymore. And so they will understand that. Um, Pablo is excited about this. All of our other uh, um, 
programs within the Philippines even, they said very similar things to us. And so we know um, that going forward, this is the right move uh, for our ministry. Um, it's, again, we, we know it's a change, we know it's different, but with trash dump communities, we've learned that everything seems to be different. And so we really need to, to have an understanding and have you understand why we're doing this. This has been well over a year we've been praying about this to make this decision and make this move. And we know that this is the best thing for these kids. And so um, know that moving forward uh, with the sponsorship program, um, they're going to get the same care. This is better for them. It's just a little bit different on our end. And so we're going to have to sacrifice a little bit of that um, from our side. But if it produces a better um, end product, so to speak, on the other side and, and helps the children in a better way, edifies the whole family, we just know this is the right move. Um, and again, let me reiterate how important this program is. Um, this is something that covers all of the day-to-day -day, um, needs of these kids. And if we don't have you doing that, we can't focus on other things like building the infrastructure and schools and aquaponics and livelihood pro programs. You know, these are things that we must do within our missions model. And without you, we can't do that. So please know we need you. Uh, we need you to continue with us. Um, if you have any questions, if there's something that uh, comes up, we've been very um, happy with the 100% positive response we've gotten from those that were at the meeting, um, also that we've talked to about this. Uh, you know, maybe a little disappointment in that they, they wanted to have their own individual child, but they also understand 100% what we're going for here and why we're doing this. So if you have any questions or concerns or you want to talk to me or talk to any of our staff, um, please give us a call at the office or shoot us an email. We'd love to talk to you. And we would love to answer your questions. So um, again, uh, we thank you for your involvement with this ministry and your continued support and have a Merry Christmas.